How's it going, aliens? My name is Alien and today I'm back on another Dandy 5 video, and today's video will be my acrobat guide. So let's get right into the video. Okay, before I get into the guide, I do want to plug my Discord server. The link will be in the pinned comment below, as well as in the description below. So go click the link and join the server today. We're almost at 2,000 members. Also, this video will be submitted into a contest that Identity 5 is currently holding. Um, it runs from March 17th and then three weeks. Uh, so if you could, could you please vote for my video to win? I'll have the link in the comment below as well as in the description below. So let's get into the guide. There will be three parts to this guide. The first part will be the persona. The second part will be the best usages for each of the balls red ball black ball and white ball and the last part will be the best spots for each of the balls okay so let's get into the first part of the guide which is my persona the persona build i'm using is left right two and sticker and max in struggle speed persona is not that important for acrobat as long as you're using broken windows and borrow time the rest you can pick what you want however i prefer two points in sticker because the self heal is really useful and also the crawling speed can save games you can crawl the dungeon crawl the gate so that's pretty useful as well i use max in struggle speed because it ends up coming in handy some games and it can buy you some more time on your kite the other things you can put in is like snooze but the rocket chair time you're getting is not that long so I just prefer putting it in max struggle speed okay so let's get into the next part of the guide which is ball usage first we will talk about general ball usage like right there you saw how I avoided the hit using the ball I see a lot of acrobats having trouble with this if you click the ball too early I mean too late after they're already hitting the hit will count you are not invincible when you're Doing when you're throwing the ball so you have to time it accurately if you time it accurately you see what happened there you have to click it when the hunter is just about to hit you but when they haven't hit yet so when they're in the animation of hit as you can see the geisha was you click the ball and then that buys you distance and the hit will not count and with the distance you can get that can buy you lots and lots of times on the kite um, because it can get you to a pallet, get you to a window. Now let's show how it looks like when you do it too late. So here's me throwing the ball and I did it too late and the geisha was able to hit. The next one will be a better view though of how it can you can do it incorrectly also special thanks to Mirima for helping me get the clips I needed for the guy so right there you could see I was too close to her when I threw the ball when you throw the ball it matters two things one about timing and two about distance if you are too close to the hunter then of course it's gonna hit think about like feast or something it's going to hit if you're too close and it's also about timing if you do it after the hunter has basically hit you at that point of course you aren't going to dodge it you aren't invincible at that stage of you throwing it but if you time it perfectly and at the right distance it can buy you a lot of time on the kite now let's get into individual ball usage and the first one is the red ball the red ball you earn by containing the hunter for 60 seconds, you can earn another one. This ball takes away the scale of the hunter. Make sure to use every ball in an area where the hunter has to pass or it hinders their movement to dodge it. So 
hospital doorway is a perfect example the hunter has to go there you can put the red ball there and then you saw the geisha you don't have to skill check her because the it's going to stop her dash you can put it there for a ripper it stops his invisibility and it's one of the better balls you can have it's my second favorite the acrobat has the next ball is the black ball the black ball slows the hunter for five seconds you also want to put it in a place the hunter has to go to so i put it in the doorway and now look as the geisha will run past the ball she gets slowed so this is amazing for buying distance this is my favorite ball the acrobat has because in my opinion it has the most impact the other ones may have an impact but this one for sure has an impact you earn it by rescuing survivors and that's also one of its better abilities is in rescuing how good it is because it acts as a flare gun if you sp spam two of the black balls it's basically like a flare gun you can see in this clip first it's a bomb bond so it's tough to save off of i use the red ball so that his bombs won't hit and now i gain a black ball and then i'm going to put it on him like that and that buys the perfumer distance the cypher was primed so i didn't have to do another but in those instances i can put one and i can put another and that's just going to buy the person that was on chair so much time so the black ball is my favorite and it's very useful the last ball is the white ball the white ball slows the interaction speed of hunter so it's like breaking pallets vaulting windows anything they interact with there are two ways you can use this ball effectively like that when the hunter is breaking a pallet you can use the white ball to slow them down or you can put it in a window that the hunter has to vault and when they vault it you can see it's a lot slower both of these also buy a lot of distance in time and the white ball is not bad at all it's pretty effective but it's the most niche one out of the three because you have to use it at the right spots for it to really do anything if you don't then you can usually just use it as a throwaway ball so when you're just using a ball to get to the window or you're using a ball to avoid an attack usually you can just use this one because you may not get as many uses out of it as the other two you get this ball by decoding ciphers once you finish one cipher or just get 100% decoding progress you get another white ball now let's get into the final part of this guide which is all of the best ball spots so the first map we'll start off is red church so these windows you can jump through all of them but you have to just click it if you hold it it won't go through but there's a bunch of these windows on church and you can just go through all of them next it's this little crack on the left side the broken area of church all of the benches you can jump through I'm in reception. In the hospital, you can jump through there. You can also jump at the area by exit gate. In factory, you can jump off, but it has to be at the perfect angle. If you do at the wrong angle like there, it doesn't go. But if you're coming above and going down, then you can jump off of the ledge in factory of leos those barrels you can jump over same with those now lakeside by shore you can jump there in boat you have to hold it but you can jump off of that and get right there if you hold it If you hold it here, you can jump all the way to the middle from the stairs. This one is trickier. If you mess up just a little bit, it won't work. But if you get it exact, it works. That little hole, that window, 
in the middle of boat and moonlit of course all of these chairs and tent all of those type things and moonlit you can jump over you can jump off of the the uh slide you can jump off of middle stop to get on the slide you can jump off of those stairs in big house here's a little glitch you will if you jump you, you'll respawn behind it you can jump off of any of the stops in there if you just click it you won't go through on the last stop but if you hold it at the last stop it works but on the first stop you can just click it you can also just jump over the coaster and those are all of the best ball spots and that's also the end of this video i hope you did enjoy this video and if you did please give it a like if it was informative and it helped you also don't forget to vote for it in the contest and if you want to see more videos like this in the future please subscribe to the channel that'll be all for the video bye